deal is with this. See that's I don't know if that's just excess from the mold. Clean that off. Just file it down real quick.
All right, I found out where these little tiny, teeny tiny screens go. So if you have a kit, see on the side of the injector, a little tiny hole right here. And that's where those go. I didn't, I didn't look it up or nothing. I just stumbled across it when I was cleaning these because I'm gonna start assembling these. Get them out. I have no clue. I have no clue how to get them out. Little baby things. Just poke a hole through them. Let's see how tiny that stupid little thing is. One there. So, I'll show you how to get it out. Hopefully. Just take this poke a hole in it and twist it out. Hopefully you saw that. Anyway, so I'm just going to put all the crap on these injectors and clean some other parts up and go from there. Nothing you guys are going to see. I just wanted to add that part. Alright, <clears throat> I'm just figuring out where everything goes. Gasket goes there. Little diaphragm goes here. O rings are going right here. So I put a little put a little lube on them. So that the injectors when I put the injectors in, they'll go in and the old uh didn't it didn't have these. So I don't know if that's something new or what the deal is. <clears throat> so I put these on, put the o-ring on, as you can see, got the screen on, got the o-ring on, press those in. You can tell this has been a part, because uh, it only goes one way, but you can see that's that little dowel is pretty smashed on this injector. And then if you look inside... Here, let's see if I can. You can see that little uh, scratching right there because that dowel has to go there and goes back here on this side. Sure. Get a little pointer tool. So we got this scratch right in there. This is where that dowel will sit, and then over here, this is where this dowel will sit. So it had been a part before, so I think they just lost parts. Probably one of the one of the issues why it uh why it herb. So I'm just gonna put a little little lube on it. So just make sure it goes down. Down like that. So it's straight and then push it in and it should be in same with this one except for it's going to be about 180 degrees off so o-rings on the dowel the dowel is going to go up to the top make sure that little washer things there stays there again put it at us make sure it's square I don't know if you guys are even seeing that make sure it's square and push it in and that should be it so you can move them a little bit so maybe like one to two, maybe three degrees, but that's it. So this, like I said, this has been a part. <clears throat> so what they did is they took these little uh, washers off and out because I don't remember removing them. They have the O-rings. So take the gasket, 
I'm just going to assemble as much as I can right now because the actual throttle bodies in the dunk tank getting dunked, dipping, dipping diesel. Sorry, sorry, uh, man, I can't remember your name, first name. Anyway, all right, uh, yeah, I'll gotta go get the some other parts and blow them all out. They, you know, got washed with water, so I gotta get all the water out. All right, so on to my next little uh, upgrade, little tuning part. So got here is a stiffer spring so I'm gonna try to use the same force but I don't know if you can see so this one I can collapse and this one I can collapse but it's a lot it's a lot harder so it's a lot stiffer got it from these these guys I don't know if you can see it Hamilton fuel injection Got it on eBay. You can call him. Call this guy. He'll help you out with uh, your stuff. It says that he does an uh, international harvester. AMC Hudson Nash. Studebaker Mini. MG. And uh, I guess a bunch of other vehicles. So yeah. This spring is super soft. And then this one's pretty stiff. So... Anyway, let's get back to it. Got this here. It's blown out, cleaned out. So, set that aside. Four screws. Obviously, they're going to be the same four screws. Find them. So, we got one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So obviously, the four screws that we have are going to be for this. That's going to be kind of a pain. Um, I might actually clamp it because I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it. Got this all cleaned up. <clears throat> it's looking good. Don't know what the deal is with this. You can see that's, I don't know if that's just excess from the mold. Let's see if I can't get rid of that. Oops.
final to this. Seems weird. It off. Just fold it down real quick. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Got this thing all cleaned up. Just gonna let it sit in a dip for a couple hours. Dip in diesel. It's his name is Nathan. Nathan. So, just reassemble it all, and I just screwed up. Maybe not. So, three screws, three screws, bigger of the ones. Suck them down a little bit. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. I've rebuilt a lot of carburetors before, and uh, I gotta say, this is way easier to rebuild than a carburetor. So I'm just tightening these down, same as I did, snugging them up. Okay. That's pretty much it for that. Screws didn't need. Got the new gasket on this. Idle air control valve, whatever you want to call this stupid thing. One and a quarter inch. I don't need to go too crazy tight. Just enough. There. Throw the throttle position sensor up back on. Goes right there. It's got the new gasket on it, new seal. So I'm gonna take the screws. Out so I can get it on there. Obviously, it doesn't go that way, so it'll go that way.
Alright guys, that's it. Pretty much it for the rebuild. For the overhaul, rebuild, whatever you want to call it. Just throw this new gasket on here. Throw this thing on here that's all bent and mangled. I'm going to try to straighten it out real quick. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'll clean this later, but this, these little tabs right here go right there. So, I'll try you. I can do it. hose this is what I found on the bottom maybe I can shove that in so anyway people that's gonna be it for this video um, that's just an overhaul video of this fuel injection TBI whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna fix this hose that's gonna be it for this and I gotta wheel the truck out, push it out, pull the cab off, start welding the cab, um, all the firewall stuff. So I wanna get this project done this weekend, Sunday at the latest, Monday morning I gotta leave for work. Headers are supposed to be here today, rear shocks are supposed to be here today. And I figured out the size of the shocks I'm gonna run up front. So I gotta order those shocks, and I don't know yet. I don't know what else I'm gonna order. So anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment. Sorry, long video it is what it is. You can dislike if you want. You can like if you want. You do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment later.